Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the January crystal healing video for fire signs, so Aries, Leos, and Sagittarians. So for those who are new to my channel or new to my crystal videos, I use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to pull uh, cards to see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of, well, January, because I'm doing the January reading. Uh, then I pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. So Again, if you're new, I always read the descriptions of the crystals, no matter how many times I do this kinds of reading uh, readings, because I get new people all the time, number one. And secondly, um, these are very, very general, okay? So it helps you guys to discern if you really need these crystals or not, or if the readings are even going to resonate for you. And no need to buy crystals if you don't really need them. By the way, some of these crystals, you know, some crystals are common, some crystals are affordable, some are not. Some are really rare, okay? So if you want one of these crystals, but you can't really afford it, if you get this deck, you can actually use the cards in lieu of the crystals, okay? Also keep in mind, I've been recommending the Crystal Bible. It's a really awesome book, actually. They have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of crystals. Now, when it comes to crystals and crystal work, a lot of crystals will do the same thing for you, but it's really important that you go and pick out your own crystals as opposed to buying them online. Nothing wrong with buying them online. I just recommend you do it in person because then you understand like which crystal is really vibing with your frequency versus like my frequency or someone else's frequency because our frequencies are all different, just like each crystal's frequency is different, okay? People have been asking me where to buy crystals. Like I said, Try to get them in person if you can. So go to a store. Go to a crystal store, a bead store, a spiritual store, a holistic store. They usually have some kinds of some kind of crystals. You can just go online and see what um crystals crystal the uh, <laughs> crystals crystal stores are in your area. Okay. So fire signs. Hold on. <clears throat> I did so much energy clearing this morning because I knew my throat chakra was gonna be a problem. And it's already bothered. Get one more sip. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, that had a little herb in it. <clears throat> okay. Aries, Leos, or Sagis. Who is gonna go first? Aries. Oh, Leo. <laughs> Leo. Okay. All right. Okay. You're going first. Don't worry. You're going first. Wait, is there? Hold on a second. I don't know what that was. It's like lint or something. Oh, Leo, that was funny. I didn't even get to say sad. You were like, nope, me. <laughs> Leo's first. Leo's first. Oh. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of January? Of course, Leo, as I'm tapping into your energy, all I see is the sun. Of course, of course. Leos, you know you're really sensitive to sunlight or lack of sunlight, so please keep that in mind. We are in winter if you're in the northern hemisphere. <clears throat> excuse me so you guys are extra tired you need some sun okay you need some sunlight if you can't get sunlight get one of those special lamps um get crystals that are really good for your lower chakras specifically your solar plexus wear a lot of yellow wear some hot colors look at some hot colors light yellow candles um even orange candles or red candles are fine but yellow specifically that's so funny leo so funny <laughs> all right you just need that sun you just need that energy you need the uvs Oh, we got Flint. First card out. Let's see what other crystals want to come out for you. What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of January? Oh, okay, Leo. They're really emphasizing your solar plexus. Your confidence needs a boost. Why does your confidence need a boost? Wow, Shiva Lingam. Okay, you need to balance out your masculine and feminine energies, Leo. Um, you might not be very aligned right now, which is also why this is coming out. If you're wondering what this looks like, I actually bought one when I was in Sedona. It could also come in this kind of coloring. Excuse me. It, they're actually really cool because they're formed in like rivers because it's like the smoothness of the water while it also like hits rocks and shit actually gives it that smooth feel. It's it's actually really cool. Anyway, not to nerd out in geology. Uh, Leo, yeah, I'm getting a confidence issue with you, and I think it's just because you're not really aligned. Some of you are having to do some shadow work to really integrate. I feel like it's your masculine, which is indicative of this time right now, but people who um, have a lot of masculine energy also really need to make sure that they are still tapping into their feminine energy, okay? So don't get lost in the masculine energy, and don't ignore your feminine energy either. It's a, it's a balance game right now. It's a balance game right now, okay? But it's affecting your confidence. It's affecting your solar plexus. What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of January? 
Yeah, they keep bringing back to your confidence, Leo. You're not very confident at work. You're not really confident in your relationships right now either. Some of you feel like you're not getting that TLC, that attention that you're really wanting, expecting. Wow, that's some of you were expecting and or used to. And it's really making your confidence waver. Oh, Leo, almost called you lion. <laughs> Leo, what other crystals do my Leos need for the month of January? Yeah, especially when it's like in the love department, you're really, your confidence is really wavered here in the month of January. I really feel like it's mostly because you're not aligned or your masculine feminine balance is off. What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of January? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of January? Oh, okay. I actually like Malachite would also be very good for you. That's really good for the heart and the sacral. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're the two chakras that are like right outside the solar. So it might be also good to focus on those two. Okay. But you have Flint and Shiva Lingam. So we're going to go in order that they came out in. Okay. Flint. Portal power. Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through the, to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. You gotta do some shadow work, Leo. I know, everyone's asking me, where's the shadow work video? I'm waiting on one piece of equipment. It should be here by tomorrow. And then I can do the video. Okay. Anyway, you are a person of profound inner depths. Do not be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing. Together with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affecting well-being, Flint connects you to your ancestors. A natural traveler, you know how to negotiate the shamanic underworld to obtain healing insights. Strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary if you left any part of yourself in another life or an abusive childhood experience. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind, but recognize lessons before you move on. Paying attention to energetic boundaries and core strength, cutting detrimental ties, and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the earth star and the root chakras and great for Scorpios and safely exploring other worlds. Other worlds also meaning other aspects of yourself other parts of yourself hold on <coughs> <coughs> it's just the energy we're in guys that's making my throat chakra a little worse than normal you guys know if you've been with me for a while i have a very very sensitive throat chakra everyone has a chakra that's a little extra sensitive for me it's the throat okay <coughs> ah. but yeah uh leo's it's not just about exploring other worlds other realms it's also exploring those other parts of you to do that kind of shadow work they were mentioning words like soul retrieval that shadow work um integrating parts of yourself that shadow work okay um you're going to discover a whole part of you that's going to make you feel more powerful but in this process sometimes it's very normal to feel like you're not very confident while you're exploring these parts of yourselves and doing this kind of integration okay but there you go all right now shiva lingam <clears throat> alchemical union a shiva lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth it symbolizes uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force be compassionate with yourself to heal you have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being integrate these to release your creative power creative center is the sacral also the solar it, it supports the sacral in creation a Shiva Lingam is produced from the tumbling waters. Life shapes you in the same way, so go with the flow. Soul scoring reveals your divine core. <clears throat> if you are hurt or abused, be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels. Get back to basics and put passion back into your life. Honor your libido and create a fire. Create balance. Expect a new relationship or revitalize an old one. Practice sexual magic. Cut ties where appropriate. Remember, you create through the power of thought. Everything passes. In a turbulent time, unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship transcends earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. <clears throat> great for the root, the sacral, and the crown. And great for um, activating the rise of kundalini energy. Great for Scorpios and tantric union of opposites. It's funny, you got two stones that are really great for Scorpios. Can we deal with a Scorpio cabinet in your chart? Not necessarily. Um, 
Check your Mars placement because Mars, Mars did go into Sag fairly recently from Scorpio. Check your Mars placement. There might be something there for you, okay? Ooh, Leos. I'm kind of excited to get into this one for you. If it wasn't for YouTube, I would totally use the sexual magic tarot, but it's YouTube, so I can't, okay? I know some readers do. I can hear you guys talking to me. Uh, I know some readers do. I, I don't like to, you know, I like to play it safe. I like to play it safe, okay? Uh, let's do guilt. Mm. I was going to go for Gilda and I was like, no, why does it not feel right? Uh, let's do Crystal. Let's do Crystal, Leo. Why do my Leos need these crystals in the month of January? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of January? So I think you've been experiencing a huge change as far as your... um. Um, how do I say this? Uh, uh, your uh, sexual needs and desires are concerned, whether it was a rut to like, you know, horny all the time or, or vice versa. Okay. <clears throat> Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of January? Some of you are really owning your sexuality as well as what they're telling me, like actually you know, owning the fact that you might be bisexual or that you might, um, you know, fall on the the wide spectrum of sexuality. That's not just like a typical standard of, of heterosexuality. I didn't know another way to phrase that. Why don't my Leos with these crystals for the month of January? Why don't my Leos need these crystals for the <laughs> for the month of January? These cards are really stiff lately, which is weird because I've been using them. Why don't my Leos need these crystals for the month of January? Ooh, ooh. Ace of excuse me, Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. You're ready for a new start. You're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for stability and abundance, but you're feeling really worried about it. Like you got a lot of anxiety about it and worry about how something's going to turn out. It's really throwing you off, Leo. It's really throwing you off. Some of you, this might be a new start that you want with another person, not necessarily, but some of you, I'm definitely feeling that. Okay. So me, I'm definitely feeling that, but this is anxiety, anxiety and worry about your new start, about abundance about what you really want but it feels like a new start could be a new start in business whatever this new start is for you it's something that's going to bring you stability something you expect to bring you stability oh leos okay i'm just gonna be honest here i'm tapping into some leos who remember i was getting that word like expect uh the attention and affection you expect from people or the tlc you expect from from someone is not there is not there um and it's giving you more and more anxiety this is rooted in a childhood issue okay sorry i'm just calling it leo i love you but i'm just calling it and it's time to really explore that and to heal that and that is going to be some shadow work that you're going to have to do okay why you get anxiety when you don't have the external support when really it should become uh come from within right your confidence your stability should come from within not from not being dependent on external energies See what else wants to come out. Why else do my Leos need these crystals for the month of January? Some of you are worried about money. Some of you are really, really worried about money. You thought you would have more at this stage in your life or wherever you're at now, as far as your career or life in general, you thought you'd have more to fall back on, more of a nest egg, and you're worried about it. It's for some of you. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of January? Oh, geez, Leo. Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. So you have two nines here, okay? Two nines, very close to completing a cycle. Nine of Wands, though, there's resilience. And if you notice, there's a little lion back there. I love that because it's actually a Sagittarian card, but you got a lion back there hanging out with you. Um, <clears throat> Leo, this is resilience. I feel like you've been very... Um, What's the word? I don't want to say it's a facade. I feel like this is how you're coming off to people. I feel like this is how you're coming off to people. Like, I got it. I'm cool. I'm fine. I can handle it. I got it. I'm on the, I'm on the go. I'm on the run. I got my to-do list. I'm fine. I'm cool. But deep down, you're really anxious about money. Some of you are anxious about having a new start or new beginning with someone or just on your own and you're worried you're never going to get it. You might have put in a lot of effort there. 
a lot of effort. It's time to rest is also what I'm hearing, Leo. It's time to rest, okay? It's time to sit down, work through your issues of anxiety, where your anxiety comes from, what it's rooted in. That's going to be part of your shadow work. And also understand that life is a balance of play and work, right? It's okay to be really good at surviving, but life is not about survival. That's not what life is about, right? Can't really enjoy life if you're always just trying to survive. Take this time out to do this shadow work wherever your anxiety is rooted in and also how it affects your confidence and why some of you are looking for um, support in your confidence from outside sources, from sources outside of yourself and really try to balance your masculine and feminine energies at this time. Why else do my Leos need these crystals for the month of January? nice overall energy we've got the ace of wands i love that leo what did i say about a new start you only have four cards here and two of them are aces two of them are nines you are coming into a new cycle a lot of us are okay a lot of us will be but to get out of this cycle this uh you have to address your issues of anxiety what it's rooted in why you have it you also have to address your issues of confidence and why you look for support and your confidence from outside sources outside of yourself okay but you do you do have that passion and drive for the new you do have it you have it some of you it's definitely um rooted in your create creative efforts your creative skill set Sorry, I've noticed when I started doing readings recently, and I know it's because of the energy that we're in, <sighs> my heart chakra gets really heavy, really heavy. We should all be doing some heart chakra work right now, but it's so crazy when I start tapping into the collective, like how my chakras change, right? Because it's I'm also picking up and taking on your energy, right? So like my throat chakra and heart chakra are always like, oh, <laughs> just in the last like week or so. Actually, yeah, since we came into 2020, since we came into 2020. Anyway. Anyway, so whatever you have passion for in this new cycle, this new start, this new beginning, the second start, whatever it is for you, it's rooted in your creative skill set. Underneath that, we do have Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. You just want to be happy. You want to be happy and you want to be loved. Ooh, ooh, Leo. I almost said Scorpio. Um, you want to be loved and you want to have that comfort that... Um, children with healthy upbringings have like I don't know another way to say this like children who have like really happy homes or have that loving environment that secure environments they don't ever worry about their security they don't ever think of oh no am I gonna eat tomorrow oh no am I gonna be okay am I safe am I safe like they don't have that anxiety right that's the, what the mentality that you want some of you wish you had a childhood like that because you didn't have a childhood like that and uh, yeah thank you that's where some of you your anxiety is rooted in because you grew up in an environment that was not safe or that your your psyche, whatever you want to call it, deemed it was not safe for you and brought on a lot of anxiety. Yeah, you yearn for you yearn, you yearn for security and abundance. And for some of you, some of you, you yearn to be loved like that. A lot of you need to address this external, like like God. <laughs> Where are my words? A lot of you need to address this need or desire to look outside of yourself for your needs. You have to look from within. You have to look from within for your needs, not external, okay? Some of you, that's going to involve a lot of inner child work. At the end of the day, it's shadow work that you have to do to, to address that. But that's what I'm getting for a lot of you. It's that looking externally versus internally and dealing with anxiety and dealing with confidence around all of that. Okay, and how you become confident, where your confidence comes from, and how to live a life without anxiety, without being anxious. Wow. You got to find that balance, Leo, in your masculine and feminine energies, okay? And get out of this constant survival mode. <laughs> it's okay to work hard, but life, not that life is meaningless if you're only in survival mode, but life is a lot less enjoyable than it could be. And trust me. It's okay to live it up every once in a while. It's okay to relax every once in a while. And you need to time out anyway to do this kind of work. Okay? Oh, Leo's. This is a little heavy. All right. So let's go ahead and do... Who do we have next? We have Aries or Sag. Aries or Sag. Aries or Sag. Hold on. Mm. Aries or Sag. Aries or Sag. Aries are calling me. Sorry, Sag. 
you'll be last, last, best for last, right? Best for last. Oh, <sighs> trying to get some of that energy out of my heart chakra. Okay, Aries, Aries, Aries. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? Why do I feel like you're resting bitch face right now, Aries? Why do I feel that from you? <laughs> Why am I feeling that? Some people might say that about you. You're feeling a little annoyed. What crystals do my Aries need? Uh, for the month of January. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? Oh, okay. I'm feeling a little bit what Leo had. I mean, Leo was more like emotional, anxious, survival mode, confidence issues. Aries, for you, I just feel like you're agitated. Uh, you feel a little ignored. It's that same, like, I'm not getting enough. I'm not getting enough. I'm not getting enough. But you feel, like, actually agitated by it. What crystals do Aries need for the month of January? What crystals do Aries need for the month of January? Some of you aren't getting the recognition you feel you deserve. This could be at work. I feel like it's actually within family. Well, that's interesting. Recognition for your role in family or in some kind of social dynamic. Like that was very specific. You feel like you're not getting the recognition you deserve for your role, whatever your role is, whatever your role you, you think your role is. That's a hard word for me to say, role, <laughs> role. <laughs> What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? Yeah, it's like your role in the community, and community can be family. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? Some of you, it's also around help. Like, some of you might have been helping out your family a lot or your community, whatever you consider your community to be. It could even just be your friends, right, or your soul tribe. I um, feel like you've been helping a lot and you haven't gotten that recognition. So you've pulled your energy back and it's kind of like people might be coming to you more and more because you're doing less and less and less. But it's also making you kind of like more agitated and kind of like, oh, well, you want more of my help? You want more of my help? You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. It's that kind of energy. You don't want to be taken for granted, Aries. I get that. I get that. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of January? Ooh. Aries. Azestulite. So Azestulite's a really great stone for emotional healing. It's also a great stone for um, integration and like any kind of like higher consciousness integration that needs to be done or going to higher dimensions. However, it's also a card that comes out when you need to look at your own ego. I'm sorry. It could be vice versa. Someone else might have to look at their ego. Okay. But Aries, I was kind of picking up on that. Like, oh, you want this for me? Oh, you want that for me? That is a little ego based, okay? And the ego is not, there's nothing innately wrong with the ego unless it's overinflated or out of balance, okay? Or out of check. So it's just a whole little like, all right, let me make sure I'm approaching this in the right way and from the right place. Nothing wrong with, with wanting to be appreciated. Nothing wrong with wanting to be recognized and not um, being taken for granted. That's a very valid feeling, right? Just make sure that you're checking in with yourself quite a bit and that this might be some of your shadow work that you have to do with your, with your own ego specifically and pride, okay? But let's keep going. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. Just a messenger. What other crystals do Aries need for the month of January? Mm. What other crystals do Aries need for the month of January? All right, so you got one other one, Polychrome Jasper. Jaspers, to me, are all about like the lower chakras and grounding, uh, making sure that you're on the right path and making the right choices, like having the clarity to take the right action specifically through grounding in your lower chakras. Lower chakras are not only just about creative energy and confidence, it's also about action, like physical, tangible actions, getting things done, right? And if you're grounded, you should be really good and good with that and very confident in doing those things. Um, yeah, I 
Aries, I really feel like this is addressing your shadow work that needs to be done, specifically around your pride, okay? Again, nothing wrong with what you're feeling. Um, just try to understand why you're feeling it, right? Just do that kind of uh, checking in with yourself. But let's go ahead and, and read these off. There were a couple other signs I got as us too. I can't remember which ones they were though. Um, I can't remember which ones they were. There were at least two. There were at least two... Oh, no, three. I think there were three signs that got them. Anyway, let's keep going. I can't remember. I really, I'm like trying to like sit here and remember. I'm like, I can't remember this in my life. Anyway, Aries, Azestulites, cosmic evolution. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and, and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend into a higher expression of consciousness. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated. Stay real, leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for all the chakras, especially the crown, and for assisting the earth to evolve. Okay? All right, now let's read off Polychrome Jasper. Okay. Belonging. Polychrome Jasper is a shaman stone that assists with traveling between worlds, offering protection while you travel. It helps you to remember why you're living on Earth. You belong to a greater group, be it a family or clan. <laughs> the community I was picking up for you guys. If you feel isolated, <laughs> reach out to others of strength rather than neediness. Oh, the stone offers you security. For companionship, choose an animal ally. Ground your efforts in the practical everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Big changes are in the offing. Concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to earth, but pay attention to dreams. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Find your power ally and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. Guard against giving away your power. Disease arises out of ancestral distress carried in DNA. Healing and forgiveness sent down your family line replaces us with well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. Great for the spleen, the earth star, and the soma. Great for Leos, Libras, and Aquas, and integration and reconnection. Oh, Aries. Let's go uh, pull some tarot cards for you guys, yeah? Uh, actually, let's do honest truth. Let's do honest truth for you guys. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of January? Why does Aries need these crystals for the month of January? Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of January? Ooh. Oh, wow. We have Nine of Cups, Piscean energy, it could also be water or fire with the world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn controls Capricorn. Nine of Cups is someone who comes in um, with a lot of emotion, okay, emotional offers or messages. And like I said, Aries, it feels like you feel that you've been taken for granted here. Um, it, could, it could also be vice versa, where maybe... Um, Someone feels that way about you. Knight of Cups can also indicate apologies to me, but I don't feel an apology with this. It almost just feels like a very honest, heartfelt, like, hey, I'm not happy with X, Y, Z, and I want that shit to end, okay? Uh, you could be ending some karmic cycles here for yourself, but the world universe indicates that it's not exactly closing smoothly, okay? It's not closing smoothly. Uh, someone could be trying to apologize to you, and it's not going so well. I, I am hearing pride. Okay, so Aries, someone could be trying to apologize to you and it's not going well because you're, you know, your pride's coming out a little bit. And look, we're all human. We're all human. Um, others of you, you're just voicing your opinion on like what you, what you're not okay with, um, what's making you really unhappy, why you're, why you feel like you're being taken for granted and how you want that shit to stop. Okay, but it feels like there's something about the approach or the communication between you and these people or vice versa that's really making it bumpier than it should be. 
See what else wants to come out here. Wow, that was very quick. <laughs> Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy, and the Seven of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy. So Seven of Swords in Reverse, there was some shit that went down in the past. Again, Aries, I feel like you're not happy with how things went. I think you feel taken advantage of. And Eight of Cups, you're ready to just bounce. You're ready to just leave it behind. Um, again, just make sure that the way you're leaving things that you still have compassion in your heart for people that's really important to close things in a healthy way but also like to keep things karmically clean okay i'm just saying i'm just saying why else do aries need these crystals for the month of january yeah you, you feel taken advantage of you feel taken advantage of you feel like people take um take you for granted or one person takes you for granted like, it's also, for some of you, it's that energy of, like, you're dealing with someone who puts on the charm, who's, like, very nice and sweet, uh, and then you do whatever you do for them, and that sweetness goes away, or they just don't even say thank you, or they don't even acknowledge you. There are a couple of you, that's the issue. Why else do my Aries need these crystals? Ooh, Ace of Cups ace of cups this is a new beginning this is a start in love it could also be a start um in self-love as well in self-love also creativity excuse me over energy we do have the queen of wands aries energy could also be fire or water with the king of swords aquarian energy could also be uh gemini or libra aries i really feel like you just have a lot of clarity on the situation you have clarity on what you're not happy with and what you don't want to put up with anymore okay you don't want to put up with that seven of swords energy you don't want to be put up you don't want to put up with being taken advantage of or feeling like people aren't really grateful for you but again I'm, i keep saying like keep getting like watch the pride on this it's okay to be upset it's okay to not be happy just watch how far you're taking it okay just watch how far you're taking it and with ace of cups i really feel like you're just going off into a new beginning after you get rid of this person these people or this issue okay like oh, for some of you it could even just be all right we'll talk about it and we'll resolve it and we're going to start out in a whole new way with each other and a new dynamic and a new understanding of how i deserve to be treated and how this dynamic is going to work right for some of you it could just be that it doesn't have to be leaving this person or people behind because for some of you it does feel communal like a family doesn't mean you can't leave your family behind, but that's a whole other uh, video. That's a whole other video. Um, but Aries, you understand. You get what doesn't work for you. You're speaking about it. Again, just watch how you're speaking about it. And whatever you're going to be doing next with these people, this person, or away from them, there's going to be a lot of love to yourself or a, love, a lot of love heading your way. Okay? Mm, yikes. Okay, Aries. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was, that was also intense. That was also a little intense. Uh, Sag, last but not least, Sagittarius. Yes, a petite. <clears throat> okay. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of January? What crystals do my Saggies need in the month of January? Why do you guys feel so quiet, Sag? Why do you feel so quiet? What crystals do my Saggies need? I feel like you guys need some coffee or you guys need a jolt or something. I would not be surprised if Herkimer Diamond came out for you guys. You guys feel weighed down. Your energy feels really, really weighed down by something. What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of January? You either have a lot on your mind or you're actually exhausted. Because you're quiet. Like when a Sag is quiet, like something's not right. Do you feel guilty for something? I'm getting guilt. I can't tell if that's yours or someone else's. But I am picking up on, on guilt. Someone's feeling guilty. What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of January? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of January? What crystals do my Saggies need for the month of January? Oh, 
Oh, we got Malachite. So working on your heart, your heart chakra and your sacral chakra, um, integrating some transformative energies as well for you. Also some protection seated here, Sag. I, I just feel like you guys are so weighed down by something. I can feel it. It's like you got like two anchors on your feet. Like, <laughs> Saggy, what happened? Uh, but that's what I'm feeling. But anyway, Malachite. Malachite, which is a great crystal. Yeah, you got two anchors on your feet, Sag. <clears throat> and Sag, you, see, you do not like feeling that way. A Sag, you cannot really deal with feeling like that. Wow, you guys got Flint as well. So... If you just time it, these are timestamps. So if you just jumped on the timestamp to Sag, Leo had this as well. So I don't repeat descriptions for crystals. So if you want the description for this one, go ahead and watch Leo. Um, but Flint, Flint just came out here. What other crystals do my Sagis need for the month of January? Some of you, guilt is weighing you down. Others, it's like stress anxiety worry is weighing you down like the mental space the head space there's a lot going on in your head that you're trying to figure out that's weighing on you um others you're just completely exhausted you're completely exhausted what other crystals do my sagis need for the month of january what other crystals do my sagis need for the month of january tiger's eye i'm happy to see that for you guys oh god especially with this energy i'm feeling from you so you're you're trying to 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 really have more abundance and stability in your life here it's the main thing that tiger's eye does especially in the career sector so you guys could be really worried about your career right now there's a lot of change going on in sagis you're usually really comfortable with change you're usually really comfortable with it but whatever change is happening right now it's weighing on you it's it's almost like you're trying to keep up with it that's interesting. It's almost like you're trying to keep up with it. What other crystals do my Sagis need for the month of January? Oh, we get that's it. That's it. <sighs> Sorry, I was getting a download about um they're showing me the two of wands. So don't be surprised if that comes out in your your spread. But they're showing me the two of wands, Sag. You've got some choices to make. You've got some choices to make, but I think that there's so much going on in your environment or in your social network or at work, at least like as far as like little changes, I don't think they're even big changes. It's like a shit ton of little changes that makes it feel like a lot of things are changing. And it's like, you're trying to keep up with it and try to understand how to adapt to it in the best way for you. But because there keeps being more and more change, you're just like, well, how do I keep adjusting if things keep changing? Just like, just let it go, just let it happen. You just are afraid of, of making wrong decisions here. Usually that's not your problem, Sag. So I'm surprised it's coming up for you, but I'm feeling that. You're, you're worried about making some bad decisions here and some of you are being weighed down by guilt. Things are being revealed to you in the dream space as well. Things are really being revealed to you in the dream space and I think that's making you worry. Wow, okay, I, I'm, I'm getting it now, Sag. That's making you worry that you're making wrong decisions. It's like when you start seeing things in the dream space, like you think you're fine, you think you're cool, and then you see something in the dream space, you have an experience, and it's like, well, wait, shit, does that mean I'm not, I'm not okay? Does that mean I'm not making the right decisions? Does that mean I'm not in the right place? Am I handling this appropriately? Am I handling this change right? And then you get weighed down by that. Wow, okay, anyway, let's read these off, like I said. You did get Flint. Leo had this. Please watch Leo if you want the description for that one. But let's read Malachite. The subconscious mind. Malachite brings to light ingrained programming and toxic beliefs. An amulet against pain. This is a powerful stone for emotional transformation. It stimulates the survival instinct. Excuse me. Unconscious programs or beliefs cause psychosomatic disease. Go willingly into the depths. Therapy may be needed. Your deepest fears become your greatest gifts as hidden abilities come to light. Go, oh. Sagis, some of you, this fear of like making the wrong decision. This is so interesting because you guys are known to be very spontaneous. I think I'm, I'm tapping into some Sagis where it's like, you've, you know, you've really owned that part of yourself, but sometimes it's led you down the garden path a little bit. And whatever change is going on now that you're trying to adapt to, it's triggering that fear within you because it's like, oh, shit, I can't fuck up right now. <laughs> I, I can't allow myself to go down the garden path. Anyway, so keep going. 
Go where angels fear to tread, to bring back insights of your own healing and that of others. Explore your depths, J danger threatens. Not all is as it seems. Stand firm in your power. Have no fear, you survive. Protect yourself against unseen forces or powerful minds that manipulate you. Learn psychic protection. Take a course to call up past life skills. Spread your wings. Do not become embroiled with a charismatic man. Detoxifying your mind, body, and emotions and recognizing deep psychosomatic causes of disease are a path to well-being. Being. do not let this weigh down over analytical thinking or even guilt if someone's guilt tripping you some of you that's where the guilt is coming from someone's trying to guilt trip you don't allow them to do that um that is really going to make yourself crazy and make and really actually actually make you more likely to go down the garden path because you're not thinking clearly and you're not grounded okay uh where were we Ah, the frequency of the stones earthy to high, great for the heart, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, great for Scorpios and transforming your subconscious mind. Some of you guys could be cuspers because there's a scorpionic stone and so is flint. <laughs> but like I said, if you want the description for this one, I read it for Leo. But let's do tiger's eye. I feel like that one's going to really uplift you and make you really happy. Tiger's eye, empowerment. Tiger's eye symbolizes prosperity, encourages right use of power. It balances your needs with those of others finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers, you make your own fate. Assert yourself wisely. Bring hidden talents to the fore and accept your imperfections. There's a tendency towards obsessiveness or becoming spaced out. <laughs> oh my god, the spaced out part just screams sad to me and the obsessiveness is what I've been picking up from you guys. Oh shoot, hold on. Need a little tea. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Where were we? Ah, ground yourself. <laughs> ground yourself. Explore your past lives to discover causes of these traits. Deal sensibly with day to day reality and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity, find prosperity and lasting success. Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to goals. Distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. So I'm getting a download. Uh, some of you need to get away from people. And I don't mean like just cut everyone you know out of your life, but some of you really need to step back from dealing with certain energies. And until you can get clear headed, you're not really going to understand which energies are okay for you to be interacting with. So just take a time out from everyone for a little while to, to get this weight lifted off of you, to get unweighted and to get grounded. And I think you're going to get a lot more clarity on where you're at. Okay. Where was I? Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the stones earthy to high, depending on the color. Great for the solar plexus and the third eye. Great for Leos and Cappies and becoming empowered. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, damn it, Sag. Just got a little download. Yeah, for some of you, you're being taken advantage of. You don't even realize it. This is so interesting. Interesting how, like, you know, when I do an element. Oh, there we go. When I do an element, uh, it's like I can see little themes between all the three signs, even though they're very different. Um, like Aries was getting taken advantage of, they knew it and they didn't like it. Sag, some of you don't even realize someone's taking advantage of you and it's affecting your energy and that's making you feel weighted down. And it's adding confusion because you're getting answers in the dream space and it's confusing you more because you don't have that clarity outside the dream space. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and some of you just need to get away from people for a little while anyway until you can get grounded, um, sort through your own energy, and then you can go and tackle whatever it is you need to tackle. Okay, but let's see why you need these crystals. Still reading it wise. Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? My Saggies need these crystals for the month of January. One more. Yeah, so you have at least one person in your field. It feels like a female energy. It can be male. But, you know, I'm just feeling feminine energy. Oh, so regardless of their gender, someone has very toxic female energy. That's what this is. Regardless of their gender, someone has very toxic 
feminine energy, and that's actually depleting your energy. It's adding to the feeling of weighted down or feeling exhausted. Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? Oh, wow. Wow. The Emperor, uh, the uh, Mars, so Aries and Scorpio, also Taurus for me as a reader, Divine Masculine Energy, Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, and then we've got the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? Ace of Wands in reverse is that lack of motivation, lack of desire, lack of inspiration. Um, you, could, you could have a soul connection with this person, Aries, with this Emperor. Emperor is someone who's usually older, it could be like a father figure or a CEO, grandfather figure, it's a patriarch, a patriarchal figure, someone who usually runs a lot of shit or manages a lot of shit and has been through a lot of shit, okay? Okay. Uh, six of cups that's usually like the past or a soul connection here someone's lost someone yeah someone's lost their desire and passion for something they used to have a lot of emotion for okay Ooh, sag i feel like this is someone you're dealing with i feel like you're dealing with someone who really has lost their passion for life this could be your spouse. This could be your partner. This could be a friend, a family member, your boss. Uh, but it's someone whose energy is dragged down and you have a soul connection with them and it's affecting your energy. You need to protect yourself from this energy. Sorry, I just got to say it. I, just energetically protect yourself from them. You could just be picking up on their energy because you're empathic and you're intuitive. You're the intuitive fire sign. You're the seer, Sag. But this person's energy is dragged down and it's dragging you down, Okay yikes some of you this is a love interest from the past that you need to disconnect from because even if you yeah for, yeah some of you this is a love interest that you have no passion for anymore anyway but they're still connected to you energetically you got to cut that cord you got to cut that cord and you're feeling it now more so than you did before because this could be someone from years ago honestly this could be someone from years ago someone who works on their own time is what they're saying Oh, shit. Did I make a second video? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't know where it cut off because it's like, I, sorry, I was so caught up in it. But for some of you, this is a love interest from a, a while back. Okay. From a while back. Um, could be months, could be years. Some of you, it's definitely years. Someone who works on their own time is what they're telling me. You don't have any passion for them anyway. And you don't want another beginning with them. Um, you definitely have a soul connection with them. So even if you don't like want anything to do with them, you need to cut that tie because it's actually starting to affect your energy more so than it did before because the energies that we're in, the eclipse energy that we are in right now is about letting all that shit from your past go, okay? Cutting all of those ties, okay, from the last like 10 years, at, you know, at, eh, I, I'm saying 10 years given the, um, the certain placements we have right now. It's a long discussion. I don't want to get into it, but for the last like 10 years or so, okay? Anyway, let's keep going. Why else do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? Why else do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of January? Oh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Two of Cups in a verse. Soul connection that is broken, fragmented, no longer needed, no longer serving your highest good, very imbalanced. Very imbalanced. On the bottom of the deck, Jesus. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in a verse Virgo energy with the Wheel of Fortune in a verse Jupiter energy. You need to cut your ties with this person. I'm sorry, Sag. I don't mean to sound so blunt. Maybe it's just because I'm in your energy. <laughs> uh, but you need to cut ties with them. It's it's actually making you more um, ungrounded and more unstable, okay, in your energy. Your energy is not aligned right now. Wheel of Fortune in a verse, you feel stuck. You feel stuck in this. You're being weighted down like the anchor. You've got two anchors on your feet because this energy is still connected to you, even though you don't really want anything to do with this person. This person may come back in your life at this time because it is eclipse energy. Eclipses always bring up shit from the past, always. And we're dealing with Capricorn and Cancer right now, okay? Pluto's in Capricorn. Just breaking down more of that shit from our past, right? Pluto's a Scorpionic planet. Anyway, bringing it back to you guys. Whether you're hearing from this person or not, you need to cut your ties with them. You need to cut them out energetically. You need to protect your energy from them. It's dragging you down. For some of you, it's affecting you physically and making you very tired. Very, very tired, okay? Saji, the wheel will turn in your favor once you do this, okay? Once you do this, the wheel will turn in your favor. Some of you, this is someone that you're dating. This is interesting. Okay, this is interesting, Saj. This is interesting. Some of you, this is someone that you're dating. 
And it's weird because there's not a whole lot of interest there, but you're still dealing with them. And the longer you deal with them, the more dragged down you're going to get. If you're not interested in them, I'm curious why you're dealing with them. I almost want to say people pleasing. Sag, do some shadow work here. Because for those where you're dating someone like this and you're not that interested, I would really explore why. Okay? <laughs> I would really take the time out to explore within yourself why you're sticking it out if you're not that interested in them. Because it doesn't it doesn't look very it doesn't look very promising. It does not look very promising. Okay. But you're sticking it out for some reason, even though it's making you ungrounded, even though it's throwing you off energetically and making you tired, dragging you down, and really turning the wheel not in your favor. Yeah, explore that. Please explore that for those Sagis who that's for. And once you get rid of this person, you're gonna be shocked at how fast things move forward into success and abundance. Okay. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, fire signs. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram. I do have new uh, the new structure up for Patreon. I do have three tiers now. So go ahead and check out what those are about. Uh, the, um, the first tier, the 11-11, won't have content until mid-January, okay? So just keep, keep, you know, keep that in the back of your head. It is noted there, but, you know, sometimes it's hard to to, to read everything, right? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys have a really great January and I'll see you guys later. Namaste.